Were there any challenges for you guys playing these roles? When you're working with Spike, and this is my first time working with him, so I learned this as I went along, <laughs> but um, he, he's such a visionary and he doesn't always articulate to you what the vision is. He just tells you and you do it. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm such a person like, well, I, well, what's the end? I need to understand where we're going. And I really just had to learn to trust what he said and just go with it. And I think we all had to use every bit of the artists we are <laughs> right. to get this movie to fulfill what Spike's vision was. Because there's singing, there's dancing, we all speak in verse. Um, and, and it's a satire, so it's heightened reality. Everything's not steeped in the complete truth. Um, it's stretched so that we can, it, it, it illuminates a larger problem. It all started with a gorgeous Nubian sister. What's up, Spinner? They call her Alyssa Strzok, a woman like no other. You just try taking away their guns. Okay, okay, the dirty poppers. Because okay. my gun go boom, I'll make sure a Trojan end up in the next It was really about connecting with the community and uh, the people in the community and, and really focusing in on the authenticity of the, the young black male and, and all of his passion and all of his pain. Uh, that's what I was really focusing on. So even if there was something in the exterior, um, it was more about, you know, that, that energy that I could bring across uh, from inside, so I'm, I think I, I embody somebody else. I'm, I'm definitely not Chirac, so uh, uh, hopefully that guy on, on camera uh, gave what it was he was supposed to give. When I got the script and saw that we were retelling the story of Lissa Strada, I was so excited. I did this play in college and I remember how fun it was. I wasn't Lissa Strada, so I was even more excited that I would get to play Lissa Strada. And like you said, a woman who is strong, she's smart, and she basically uses what she knows to affect a change in, uh, in her neighborhood and it ends up going global. He's based on a, a real man named Father Michael Flager who has uh, been at Chicago for at that same church for 30, 40 years and comes from a great prophetic tradition of people who speak truth to power. I wanted to do something that was uh, like true to the guys in the street that they could recognize. And a lot of those cats, <clears throat> they are kind of funny, even when they're not trying to be. And uh, also something that would uh, show the ability of the heart, the rocks, able to transform and uh, be redeemed, redeem themselves, and that it's cool to care. This is an emergency. Homicides in Chicago, Illinois, have surpassed the death toll of American special forces in Iraq. Hey, Dolomites. Welcome to Chirac. Chirac, where we at, my city? Land of pain, misery, and strife. Everybody here got a man banging and slanging, fighting for the flag, risking that long zip of the cadaver bag. All to the bang, 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 bang. I wish people would stop using that word controversy because it's a label, it's lazy. It's just lazy. You know, anything that's not normal, controversial. Controversial filmmaker, controversial artist. You know, it's just, it's just a cheap label. Right. I do not choose my film. I do not choose my film subject. I do not choose my film subject saying, "What's the next controversial movie I can make?" No. No. It's storytelling. What story do I tell? That for me, that's how I approach it. Speaking of Chicago, what's in a title? The title is very provocative, but the fact is, is that um, there were more people killed in Chicago than were killed uh, than the armed forces in Iraq, and. We, uh, the, the name Chirac wasn't made up by Spike. It was being said on the streets in Chicago. So unfortunately, art has to be not just a mirror held up to reflect society, but it has to be a hammer with which to shape culture. And if you don't believe that art can have an effect on change, then you shouldn't be in the film business. Well, you shouldn't be in the film arts, because there's show business and there's there's art, and Spike's trying to make art and f find that line with, uh, with the business. But um, this, he said to me, the only reason to make this film is if we can help save lives. And that's a very honorable, noble thing to do. So if a couple of, um, if a couple of rich people in Chicago are offended by the title, well, the, the tourism, uh, and they're worried about tourism, well, those tourism 
buses aren't going to 78th and Halstead. So I think the great city of Chicago will survive a film of conscience.